Hello everyone, this is Galaxy S24 and this is Galaxy S23. This is Mo. And this is Tanya. And we're in Vienna to see which one takes better pictures. Galaxy S23, S23 Plus, S24 and S24 Plus all have the same three camera hardware. But to my surprise, sometimes the results that you get from these two phones are vastly different, especially on three times optical zoom. We started our journey in Cars Plots a place built after San Charles Bromeo, who helped Black Plague victims in Vienna. The first thing we noticed is that the stabilization on both phones is great. The colors on S24 were slightly more saturated and the white balance is slightly different. We then took some portrait photos. Both phones had similar skin tones and the shadows and highlights were also quite close. The S24 pictures had a bit more orange tone to them compared to S23. It seems the blues in S23 were more saturated and the S24 result was closer to reality. The face in the S23 had more edges and was visibly sharper than the S24. I like the result of S24 more than S23 because it looks more natural. Then we started to take pictures of Carl's church. We noticed the sky on S24 was a bit more gray compared to S23. But all in, the results were quite similar. It seems Samsung went for a milder approach for saturating colors and white balance in S23. The difference between the cameras started to show when we tried to use the three times optical zoom. In the first test, we did 20 times and 30 times zoom of Carl's church. And the results during daylight were similar. But then we took a picture of this beautiful clock and in my opinion, the S24 was less blurry and yielded a better result. On our way to the Opera House, we saw this S24 Ultra advertisement, which was a bit ugly, and we took a 30x zoom from it. The result on the S24 was again better. It seems Samsung went for a more aggressive noise reduction, and you can specifically see it in the color of the sign, which is a deep red instead of being noisy and less saturated. While you are enjoying this doggo and this kind owner letting us film him, it means a lot to me if you take a moment to subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers and I'm very close to this goal. Thank you in advance. So now we are getting close to Oper Wien. It's a historical place and all the main operas in Vienna are conducted here. <laughs> I took a picture of the Vienna Opera House with the main cameras and didn't notice a difference immediately. After a closer look, I realized S23 picture is sharper and the S24 is more natural and not as over sharpened as the S23. We tried to push the camera on portrait mode to see how well it handles the bokeh effect. Again we didn't find any meaningful difference except for the sky being more grey in S24 which probably has something to do with how highlights are being processed on this phone. Gathered more details when taking a portrait picture of 3 times optical zoom. To continue the camera comparison, Tanya was kind enough to sing us an aria. I'll link her YouTube in the description if you wanna follow her to listen to her live performance. <laughs> <laughs> for lunch we went for Indian food. The entire portrait picture on S23 had more bokeh effect. The food pictures were very similar and colorful. Please let me know what was the food that I was eating. It was absolutely delicious. For nature photography we went to a bird park nearby. 
Here is where the difference between the three times optical zoom showed up. The colors on Galaxy S24 were more tinted and there was a strange gray effect on the video. The difference was even more visible in the pictures. It seems the algorithm or AI or whatever it is, is doing some kind of processing as getting confused just before the sunset. And the three times zoom pictures were not as detailed in S24 as it was in S23. I'm not so sure if it is a hardware issue or a software issue that can be resolved later. To test the night mode, we went to no place other than a Stephens Dome, a magnificent building from the 12th century. We took an obligatory picture of the moon, which you know, they are both fabricated the same way. The night photos in S24 were less noisy and the sky color was closer to reality. The telephoto lens did a great job and S24 showed more details and brighter colors. In portrait mode, I feel S24 again did not create a bokeh effect as much as it should. The disappointing thing is again, in 10 times zoom, S24 did not capture as much details as S23. The same thing happened right before the sunset pictures. The pictures I took from neon lights were quite similar to each other. The white balance in the last picture that I took was different and I cannot decide which one I prefer. All in all, I think S24 pictures are better, capture more details, and the tone is more neutral. On the other hand, S23 does a more consistent job when it comes to 3 times optical zoom. There is one last thing that I noticed. When there is a wind, S24 does a much more aggressive noise cancellation, possibly by a high pass filter, which makes the voice way too robotic. You can check samples in the review that I made about S24 Plus, which has the same camera as S24. Next, I'm going to compare pictures on S24 Plus and Ultra, probably with iPhone and possibly Xperia phones. Please subscribe to not miss that video. Thanks for watching the video, I really appreciate it, and until the next one, bye! And you should walk for the stabilization. So <laughs> embarrassing. <laughs> um, hello everyone, this is Galaxy S24. This is Galaxy S23. This today, is Mo. And this is Tanya. And today we are gonna do a through camera test of the galaxies. Let's see which one performs better. Yay!